This series explores Malawi's future environment using four scenarios derived from critical driving factors which contribute to the well-being or the degradation of the environment. Key stakeholders to the process of the scenario's development identified the economy and governance as major drivers due to their uncertainty. The scenarios um, was uh, an exercise that we did um, through stakeholder engagement. Um, what we said is um, the environmental challenges that had been identified uh, in the uh, process of drafting the um, 2010 Outlook Report. Um, how would we deal with them? And um, what would be the best scenario that would bring about uh, solutions to the challenges? Uh, but at the same time, we need to think of um, what scenarios would perhaps make the situation worse. Other drivers that were also identified but were categorized as not being uncertain are demography, climate change, social change, technology and culture and tradition. When plotting the scenarios graph, the y-axis, which stands for the economy, was defined in terms of change in total production and consumption of goods and services as measured by the gross domestic product, while the x-axis, which stands for governance, was defined in terms of political will and commitment at all levels to engage in activities that protect natural resources. For that, we needed uh, from the stakeholders to agree on two key issues. And um, from uh, the discussions, uh, it was clear that uh, the um, key issues that needed to be uh, dealt with uh, were two of them. And these were um, governance and uh, the other issue uh, was that of um, economy. And we said um, to address the issues of environmental degradation, um, a scenario where the environmental go governance is excellent. In other words, you have the communities taking responsibility of um, the protection and conservation and sustainable use of natural resources. They have bylaws which guide them how best to um, harvest uh, the resources and uh, also how they should manage. So if you have excellent governance, as well as the economy is doing well, that combination of the two would be the best scenario where environmental degradation would be reversed. Scenario one, Gagandiuchi, is represented by a fat and healthy cow. It depicts a situation in which Malawi experiences good governance and economic prosperity. Such a situation would enable the country to attain environmentally sustainable development. We had three other um, uh, scenarios where the economy is doing well, but governance is not there, or the governance is good, uh, the economy is not doing well, and the worst scenario is, of course, where the economy is not doing well and the governance uh, is also uh, not good. And that would be the worst scenario, the other extreme of Kagandiwuchi. Scenario 2, Benda Benda, is represented by Chameleon. It describes a situation in which Malawi experiences good governance but decimal economic growth, resulting in an unsustainable development. Under this scenario, environmental protections would not be secure in Malawi. Scenario 3, Wafa Wafa, has been represented by a hyena, an animal highly considered to be ill-omened. We called that worst scenario, worst case scenario of poor governance as well as uh, poor economy, economic performance. We called that Wafa Wafa and we showed that with um, a hyena. It is the converse of Nkagandiwuchi. It depicts the prevalence of a chaotic situation in Malawi in which the country experiences both poor economic growth and poor governance. Under this scenario, there will be cutthroat competition for the country's overexploited and dwindling resources. Corrupt individuals will prosper at the expense of the majority of Malawians. Then also, uh, we had Ndaunila Mumemu, 
uh, which is um, uh, a gulgufe or butterfly. Uh, from the folk stories uh, that uh, the butterfly can survive on uh, very little. So the economy is doing well, but the governance is not so good. So it's not too bad, it's penda penda. In this scenario, which has been represented by a butterfly, the situation is of similar gravity to that of Benda Benda, only that the source of instability is poor governance rather than poor economic performance. So those were the illustrations that we had under scenario, just to make sure that the people appreciate that if we are making policies, if we want to take action, we should be aiming at having a scenario of um, good economic growth as well as good environmental governance. In order for Malawi to achieve the desired scenario of Mkagandiuji, there is need to have policies that address environmental concerns and integrating them with economic, social and technological development plans. In such a state, good governance will be coupled with growing economy through trade and industrial development, making the country achieve poverty reduction, improvements in health and education levels, increasing agricultural yields, increasing use of green technology and its adoption, thus bringing prosperity to the country. This is sustainable development where the environment does not bear the cost of economic growth. Mkagandiuji can also be achieved if Malawi experiences unprecedented economic development, characterized by substantial increases in sector-based production and vigorous growth in gross domestic product. This economic triumph would be the result of massive public investment in infrastructure development, which would in turn attract extensive foreign investments as well as improvements in the performance of the international community. Another critical aspect would be to make advances in eco-efficient designs that reduce environmental impact from a wave of economic development that was sweeping the country. The advances would help enhance the benefits that accrue to Malawians from the rapid economic development. The technologies support the creation of an abundance of well-paying green jobs by both the public and private sector. Viable and vibrant partnerships were established between the government, private sector and the civil society in developing environmental efficient technologies in all sectors of the economy. Malawi would also be required to mature as a democracy committed to good governance with systems in place to enforce environmental policies, strategies and regulations. The political leadership would be required to demonstrate unwavering support for eco-efficient technologies coupled with impressive improvements in capacity across economic and environmental sectors. Issues of environmental protection need to increasingly take a center stage in all short and medium term development policies and strategies of the country. Thus, the environment needs to become the major thrust for all government-supported development programs designed to spur economic development of the country, achieve greater equity and other social goals. According to the report, this would enable the sustainable exploitation of the country's natural resources for the benefit of all sections of the population. <laughs> Mkalango nyanja nyama za kuchire zofunika Tisamale mapili tizari mombi tengu So ibaza kumafaki tale titaye mosa mala Mtaka yoli mayaguka, ndiku kokoloka Vula ikufuta, ziko likute ntedwa Sose zichifu kwa chaku onongeka kwa chile ngedwe Abo mama bungwe, amipingo makampani Tirindi udindo Tete Chilenge bendi chatu tie niti chisamale Mkala mwenye janyama za kuchire zofunika 
Chisamale mabili ditale mobi jengu Soi baza kumafaki tale ditale mosamala Chaka yoli maya kuka Tiku kokoloka Vula ikufuta Tiku liku tentedra Sose zichifu kwa chaku onongeka kwa chile ngedwe Abo mama bungwe Amipingo makampani Tirindi unindo Oteje za chile ngedwe Diena tose tizi teje za chile ngedwe Chaka yoli maya kuka Tiku kokoloka Vula ikufuta Tiku liku tentedra Sose zichifu kwa chaku onongeka kwa chile ngedwe Abo mama bungwe Ami pingo makampani Tirindi unindo Oteje za chile ngedwe Diena tose tizi teje za chile ngedwe Diena tose tizi teje za chile ngedwe